Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Gladius um, Relics of War in the next episode. And we are a little bit in trouble up on the right side because of the Necrons, but on this side is it is um, clearing out. We are going to take down the Great Hall, maybe in this round, maybe not, but I would like then to see what is going to happen that I actually do not now so down to five what I can promise you we are going to take it down this episode that is of certain and faction defeaters traitors or not your fellow space marines have been right from the face of Gladius Prime when the high lots of terror here of this the traditional orisons and What's that? Dirges will fill the Imperial Palace and the chapter's name will be formally exercised from the Papra Papuri. Okay, that's nice. That means, do you know what that means? We can pay our full in attention to the Necrons and that is what we are going to do right now. The forces which need to regenerate, I will actually um, let fall back. So the plan, like these guys. Anyone else? You need to regenerate. You don't. You don't. Then you can just go on as well. Okay, you already did do something. You did do something. You as well. You regenerate. The Windicator did something as well. And then regenerate and this little tank moves up like so that is really really good for us so which okay you do that you shoot and clearing the notifications next turn our turn I guess we are going to be attacked by Necrons um, little bad thing is that we do not have our full forces right now down here, but I think that's fair enough for now. Um, I don't understand something. Um, maybe you can explain that to me in the comments. How? Where did that come from? That is really weird. Attack there, please. You attack there. You attack there. Okay. It seems like this is now a random faction. But this tower needs to be taken out very, very soonish. So you do retreat as well. And on we go. First things first, shoot what you can. Could you? No, that would have been amazing actually. So for now, I focus on the Lord. And after that, we are going to engage the rest. All right, that unit was ordered. I can regenerate you a little bit in the city. Did we already? Okay. Um, shall we try out? No, I don't. I not take normal marine. Well, let's do that. We take. We 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 will try out the normal the assault marines why not i mean come on sad fact is that we are going to be engaged against the space marines up there a little bit i expected not to be but fair enough i know they were going to be a oh my lord they did really good damage but i think we are going to do very well against them any second here so Windicator of course is going to shoot and really does amazing to say the least 
So we may be able to take these guys out. That, of course, would be really, really amazing. And they go on and shoot. And gone the enemies are. So these guys retreat. And we have a little, let's say it like that, regeneration corner down here. Fair enough for me. So you shoot. And down to 14. Maybe I need then a little help up here that I do not know for now. Ordering units. Um, uh, let's see whether we can, even if we regenerate, but during the turns we regenerate and then go on. And I think we need a little bit of help up here. So you can't do anything skipping and they go on as well. Luckily, I haven't been attacked from down here. That is really good. All right. Real choice of attack there. I honestly would have attacked um, those guys, but fair enough. We were at foot. Oh, 11. So back to, you know, nothing happened. All right. Very good. Down to seven. Oh my god, that's working out well. And the Vindicator even hasn't fired as of yet. So we are down to one HP. So next round, this guy is going to be down. Then I will take down the um, the sh um, the um, what's called the air shooter there, and then on it goes. You still regenerate. I will just go on a little bit and take. Oh, okay, and just scout a little ahead here. So next round we clear some stuff out on, oh, 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 I want to go there, on the other side there. We are going to take the relic. And this guy is going to be taken down as well. Um, I think I can, okay, I'm already moved them, that's too bad. You move up there because I need some help in firing. Okay, now that should be ours, nice. And these guys then move up as well, clearing the notifications and ending our turn. I guess the Necrons are of course going to attack us. So we are a little bit in trouble up here. Because we are going to be attacked, um, there are two lords, um, two close combat lords. Um, that's no good for us. I hope we are not going to lose a squad very soon. There you can see that the AI is actually heavily focusing on. They are heavily focusing on heroes, which I per se actually do not do. But fair enough. Maybe that's the small mistake there. So where did the Seeker actually go? Where did it retreat to? There we have it and we shoot it. So the Sorceress is down, the Windicator then moves down in order to help out the other flank and you help out here. So fire, fire, fire. On this side, they already retreated, they are regenerating. And just in case these guys move up as well, regenerate. 
and here the windicator where are we going to shoot that is the big question where did i where do i focus on let's focus on the right flank for now and here the tank is moving up as well taking the fortifications the Lord is a little bit in trouble. Half down in HP, that's really nice. And yes, you may say we do not have now on that flank um, many of forces, but um, in a couple of turns we will have many there. And that's a nice thing. I suspect that the Necrons are going, not attacking my tank, please. They were going to retreat soonish or not. What I definitely have to do is I don't know whether I should move my um, Windicator a little bit back. I feel I'll have to. But honestly with all these reinforcements now coming in I shouldn't have any problem in taking down the Necrons. The only bad thing is that many of our forces are wounded and we need to do something there, of course. Locked down. And now we focus on the second one, the destroyer Lord. He has 17 HP, and we have brought him now down to 13 or 15. Um, fair enough. Okay, it's, it's more so 15 it is. Um, ordering units that we already did. These guys move up. Oh, do you see that? We have another tank. And then let's build something again. And oh, that's nice. The next assimilatorium. We need 80. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will actually go with another land speeder scrot for now. Alright, these guys then move up the you regenerate and the rest doesn't have to clearing the notification ending our turn of course this tank is regenerating but that one turn we will do next round and that is going to be the last one of this episode so there's even hiding a land speeder uh, a um, predator tank which we have to take down at one point as well. Bad thing is all our units are actually engaged up here. But I think I'm going to move the Windicator back. Placements are going to help out up here. So he shouldn't survive for too, too long. So he's down. So one more Lord down. That is very, very good. So here we of course move on. And try to strike down this one. And after that we are of course going to handle the Predator tank right there. But he hasn't too too much HP remaining. Those guys regenerate. And I already ordered you. You move up. And it is feeling very very good. I can tell you. Um, so we of course have to 
take some looks down here. There are enemies lurking around anywhere, I guess. You do regenerate. But that, guys, brings us already to the end of this episode. So now, I really thank you for watching. If you actually have enjoyed this episode, guys, then why don't you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.